Anderson and Tam with Bricktown Team will prevail. Hello. Hello. What's up? What's up? Right? Uh, are, you, are you ready to be interviewed? Are you good to start? Yeah, I'm good to go. Yes, perfect. Enjoying right. this yeah. bath. Yeah, perfect. perfect. <laughs> uh, the band are now just past the halfway point of their UK tour with Cancer Bats this month. How's the tour been going so far? Awesome. Every show has been wicked. And uh, both bands are on tour with uh, real nice guys and both bands are brilliant and we're having a good time. Cool. Uh, have you been spending your downtime? Other than bathing, obviously. It hasn't been hardly any, has it? It hasn't really. We, we wake up about 12 and then just sit around the, person at the people's houses we're staying at and then just drive to the show and set up. We've so gone out every night, haven't we, as well? Yeah, we've been going out a lot this, this last week, so... That's cool. Recovering our hangovers and stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> We've done the UK so much. Like, yeah. There's only so many times you yeah. can walk around Glasgow, like, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one, only so many things to do. Needle, another dirty needle, another dirty needle. Yeah, that's your little task, is it? Yeah. Uh, that's a fucking weird scavenger hunt, but no, that's fine. Um, what's the wildest party you've ever been to? I got, my mind's blank. It's alright, we can cut oh, out the pool. The time when our old drummer set his face on fire. That's oh, nice. yeah, that was good. That oh, that was sounds good. impressive. <laughs> yeah, How do you yeah. manage it? Uh, hairspray. Like, oh, yeah. We ne- he never, like, he'll do anything, like, and he's, like, he never set his face on fire, so he was just like, do you want to see me set my face on fire? Yeah, yeah. And he did. Yeah. Was it hair lacquer with the real sticky he, he, stuff? He thought it was like, uh, and, like deodorant, but it was hair lacquer, and when it, like, it, it was nothing for like a split second, and his head just erupted. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, it wouldn't go out, so like we all had to jump on top of him to what? And he had like this big burn on his well, face. He looked like Sam <laughs> Wester. He was fucked, but he was fucked, <laughs> like he was, it was, his whole face was just one big scab. He said he was a touch of God because he looked like he well he looked like Wilson off Castaway. Like <laughs> <laughs> we go we used to boots the next day to get some creams for him, and he's just like the guy's just like that. Did you burn your face? He's like, nah, I got beaten up by Spartans. What the fuck? Did you <laughs> <laughs> the band released the album Scatter the Ashes in November. How have the fans responded to it? Yeah, the response has been pretty good yeah. so far, haven't they? Mm. It's like, um, well. This is the first tour where we've started playing more songs off that record. So, um, we played. Well, I think it's like four new songs in the set. Yeah, and people and seem to know. People are seeming to it already, and well, it's only been like two months, I think, since it's been out. So, yeah. the response has been good so far, and well, hope it gets better. Like, awesome, cool. What's been the most surreal thing you've seen while performing? We've seen the usual stuff, like yeah, people yeah. like hurting themselves. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like the worst stage dives ever. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll do a stage dive there into like people or I'll do it there into the floor so they go for the floor. floor. Yeah, drunk yeah. guys always pick country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was talking talk about a drunken stage dive. Remember that guy in Bristol? He was like this drunk guy and he had like big boots and camo trousers and I've never seen so someone stage dive into the ground so many times in my life. He literally just Well, he did it repeatedly. He just yeah. kept yeah. eating shit and then getting up and doing it again. Then he'd hug a band member, then do it again. And he'd like, literally, you couldn't get him off stage because he, he, his face was fucked. Yeah. Just from hitting the floor so many times. It's just like, what are you doing? That's commitment but, to stage see, Yeah, he's, he seemed like he was having a good he time. He paid his money. He paid he his, his money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was, yeah. He's he paid his entry. He's entitled to hurt himself. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> cool. Um, a fan from Portugal posted on your Facebook recently a picture of his own brutality will prevail tattoo. Uh, what was your reaction to this? And have there been any other examples of fans showing their dedication like that? I've seen a couple of tattoos. It's funny enough, um, our other band played in Newport like recently and this kid from Swansea came. And he showed, we've got like the Cardiff Devils ice hockey oh, yeah. design on our t-shirts and he got that done. And I thought that was quite like, you know, I'm into ice hockey and I thought, yeah, that's cool. But yeah. I don't, I don't think, well, no, it's, 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 yeah, it's cool. Yeah, like, it's nice. I've got band tattoos. Yeah. I don't know if you've got band tattoos. Yeah, I've got band yeah. tattoos. Like, what tattoos don't you have? <laughs> <laughs> you've got a pug life on your five, yeah. which is fucking amazing, by the way. Got a pug life. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, how do you spend your last day on earth? Yeah, nice peaceful day. Yeah. Cart fishing, barbecue, iron brew. Yeah. You don't expect that from a man with a tattoo of a wolf on his knee, but yeah. carp fishing. Yeah, well, I've got carp uh, there. He's a big carp. Oh, I should have noticed the carp, yeah. actually. That's more of a good The wolf's a smaller piece of my life. <laughs> the wolf's <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all in proportion, like, doing. Yeah. yeah, the size of the tattoo, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which items are being included in your dream rider? I know, it's like, when we were on tour the other day with Terra, they had socks on their rider. 
which so. makes sense. Like, there's no nothing crazy, but like, that does yeah, make it's sense, nice actually, to get clean. Yeah. I like to have disposable socks, so, like socks every day, wear them, throw them out. Yeah. Whereas I'm yeah. carrying around like weeks worth of socks, like I don't want that. Especially that when right? you're especially when you're away for so so long. It's a, yeah. it's a good yeah. idea, isn't it? Constant socks. Very sensible, really. Yeah, so, socks and pants, yeah. So yeah. your dream rider, <laughs> if you could have anything in the world, you'd have socks. Mine is, I don't know about him, but... Uh, I'll take that as well. <laughs> you, you've both gone I'm, socks. I'm, I'm a pretty easy man, like, doesn't take much to... Uh, but you could have, like, a jet ski. Yeah. Well, like, every time. Every I'm saying, show. this yeah, is a dream ride. Why are you going to jet skis? <laughs> you don't want to have jet skis, The there. sky's the limit, you know? Oh, right. Well, uh, yeah, I'd have a jet ski. If they brought me a jet ski, I'd play on it for a bit, like... <laughs> Just a jet ski and socks then, that's fine. You can't combine them because you're wearing the socks. It's fucking tricky, isn't it? It's is, <laughs> a hard it? question. This is, is the kind of biting journalism we're into here. Um, oh, this is the final question oh, of the okay. interview. So uh, it is going cold. Yeah. So we've made it. Uh, this is timed. Um, the band of a tour going through Japan, Australia and Southeast Asia coming up. In 30 seconds, list as many bands as you can from these regions. Go. Doggy Hoods, Warbrain, Thorns, um, Carpathian, Break Even, 50 Lions. Six, that's six so far. Um, <laughs> what's Rio's band? I don't know. Uh, um, these continents take up most of the world, only six. Oh, what's that band? Chinese Chinese band who played the Doggy Hoods, I just said. Who played the Comeback Kid? Oh, SC5. SC5. I'm lost now. All right, that's thirty seconds. We won. And you got, <laughs> you got enough. seven. That's fast. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy there. Yeah, way to go. That's when we come back. We'll have loads more. Like. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you've been there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, that's good. So we'll definitely need a bath then. But this has been your in the tub interview. You enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. good. Thanks for coming. Thank everyone. you. Thank you. Tap. Thank you. Uh, this has been in the tub with brutality will prevail. Uh, it's like wave or something. Bye bye. What's up? Man? Cool. We did the maths a while ago and realised, like, in a six-month period, I've played with, like, over a hundred men. <laughs> just, just... That's just... old man's pride, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's delighted. <laughs>